Hello friends, good morning. Wait for everyone to get here and then we'll get started. I'm gonna leave my shopping link right here in the comments. So this is where you can find all of the makeup and everything uh, still available and those bundles are still available too and on sale. When you click my link, it'll be at the very top is where you'll find all of the, the different makeup bundles. But good morning. Hope you guys are all having a nice Saturday. We went to the Polar Express last night and had so much fun. We didn't get home till like 1030. So I'm like so sleepy, but happy to be here with you guys. <clears throat> Hope you guys are all having a good day. So the bundles that are back in stock are only available until tomorrow. So if you have been wanting to get the foundation on sale, the limited edition liquid eyeshadows, the limited edition eyeshadow mini palettes, um, what else? The mini or the mini, the uh, limited edition lip glosses. So much is back in stock. The highlighters, the bronzers, the setting spray setting mist I should say all of it is back but only until tomorrow at uh midnight 11 59 p.m pacific standard time um and then yes I will be sending out my newsletter today actually with all of the swatch photos to help you kind of select what you should get so be sure to subscribe to my blog which is rayahope.com just go to rayahope.com and then scroll to the bottom. You're going to see a little blue box. And in that little blue box, um, you'll enter in your first and last name, your email. Once you click submit, head to your um, email. And you're going to get an email from me that's asking you to confirm your subscription. All you have to do is say yes. You can unsubscribe at any time. Hope you don't. And I try not to bombard you guys. I only send one newsletter a week, if that. <clears throat> and typically, most of the time, it actually has... Um, a limited offer for you guys for just subscribers. Oh my gosh, we had so much fun last night. So much fun. The kids always have such a blast on that train. It's so good. We had a lot of fun too. Um, can you only get the setting mist in the holiday bundle? That is correct. My code for Pink Lily is Rhea20. Oh, nice. The nutcracker so cool, Amy. That's great. Hello from New York. Oh, nice. It's all snowy. Cool. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I just have to put on some makeup today. We actually have a birthday party to go to here in a little bit. So we're going to get ready for that. Uh, I currently use Eyelet with Tool Concealer. What is not as light for the concealer use? Uh, Cara, I would probably use the shade Lace. Tool might be a little too light and being like counter, or what is that called? Where it's not as helpful as it should be because it's too light. Um, I would probably switch to the concealer in the shade Lace for you. It's a little bit darker than Tool and I think would work better for your under eyes. Hello, hi guys. I know it's kind of chilly here, but it's not um, raining or anything, thankfully. All right, so I'm going to curl my lashes. And this has been like a really nice step, little routine that I've started uh, with curling my lashes before applying my mascara. This is Unique Lash Curler. It's amazing. I love how it curls the lashes and it's really gentle too. You can grab this in the more tool section or you can use a little magnifying glass on my website, which is a search bar to be able to grab that. So that is available. Yes, here is my link to Pink Lily. One sec. There you go. Uh, okay, so now we're going to go ahead and go in with our foundation. So I'm going to use the Serum Plus foundation. I always tell you guys how much I love this foundation shade and, foundation shade and products because it has flower extract and sodium hyaluronic in it. So it's going to be very healing, very hydrating for your skin. And wait till you see how good this coverage is. You can get this on sale in bundle two. Also comes with, I believe, your choice of... Uh, brush, your choice of concealer, your choice of primer, I believe are all options for that. So I like to do two little squirts on both sides and then I'm going to take my kabuki brush and I'm just going to start to blend this out. So I'll just bounce this off my skin and look at this coverage, you guys. This coverage is so phenomenal. It takes away any redness, hides any blemishes, and it's hydrating and healing for your skin. No matter what type of skin 
type you are, whether you have oily skin, dry skin, does not matter. This foundation is perfect for you. Now you can apply this in a lighter layer like I am right now, or you can add on and build up that coverage too. Uh, yes, the uh, Pink Lily does carry plus sizes. Yes, they do. And my code with them is Raya20. <laughs> Thank you. I know we had so much fun on that train. I'm a little older and I find the concealers look cakey. So I would try to use less. I would probably try to dot the concealer on either side of the eye and then make sure you're blending in with blending buds. That's going to be a really important part too. Okay, so once you've had that like first layer, you can totally add more if you're wanting or if you want like a softer coverage, you can stick with just a lighter layer. Um, I love that this foundation has that ability to be able to build if you're wanting. Um, I always like to go in with a touch bit more of this and go in with the blending buds to apply the rest. So why I like to go over it with the blending buds is because this is gonna compress the makeup down into place. And I find that it really does make your foundation look so much smoother versus just using a brush with this. So I really do recommend to make sure you grab these blending buds. These are not included on any sale, but they're only like $17. You can find them in the more tool section or use that little search bar and type in blending buds and they'll pop up for you. But you get two, you get the large and the small when you buy them and they honestly are such a huge lifesaver, especially if you have fine lines, wrinkles, or large pores, because it's going to really compress everything down, making it look super, super smooth. Yay. Hello. Hi guys. Thanks for being here. So that was a serum plus foundation. It's a super amazing full coverage, 12 hour hold scientific, scientifically proven. They put this through uh, studies and it does hold for 12 hours on your skin. Um, it is really dang transfer proof, amazing foundation. So if you have to wear a mask at work, or if you are for San Diego, we like are going back to the mask mandate and I would be honestly really upset <laughs> about it coverage from, or like makeup wise, but because my foundation doesn't mudge, it is all right by me. So the foundation is the best, especially for today's what's going on in our world. So with the added coverage, I'm gonna go in with our concealer in the shade Lace, which is finally back in stock. I love this color concealer because it's a really nice neutral. Uh, and you can use this all over. You can use it as foundation if you're wanting to. Um, but I love just using this wherever I need it and then also really to brighten up my under eye. So this actually has caffeine and peptides in it. So this is going to not only be very firming for your under eye, but very healing as well. So love this, especially if you have puffy under eyes. Yay, awesome. Lace our gains of finishing. Uh, would you use for the concealer? I would do, probably do organza in your concealer. And like I said, you can get this on sale in bundle two. And these bundles that I keep referring to are called the holiday specials and they're only available until tomorrow, okay? So definitely don't miss out on those. Grab them ASAP. All right, so now for coverage, I'm gonna go in with my pressed powder, uh, my setting powder first. So I'm gonna use my sponge and then I'm gonna use my setting spray and just miss that on there. Yes, I will, Amanda. My whole fam is actually coming this time, which is super exciting. All right, so I'm gonna take my Touch Behold Translucent Setting Powder and I'm gonna go ahead and grab the setting powder on there and just pop this on wherever I get shiny, greasy, oily, my makeup comes off, anything like that. So this is gonna be really, really nice for helping to also minimize the appearance of pores or blemishes and just give you an extra kind of insurance on your makeup for um, preventing it from moving or shifting or anything like that. So it's a really nice little product to start implementing, especially if you find that your makeup, no matter what, uh, looks greasy, shiny, oily, or anything like that throughout the day. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and swish away any excess, like so. And that technique is called baking. So it's basically just using a lot of product um, instead of dusting it on with a brush. Okay, so now to set everywhere else, I'm gonna use my pressed powder 
And this is going to be really, really amazing. One, at increasing the coverage on your skin. And two, helping to evening out your coverage too. If you have puffiness under eyes, do you recommend the same color concealer as your foundation? Either that or one shade lighter. I definitely make sure that you're using uh, the unique skin solution concealer because of that caffeine. And I also, if you have puffiness under your eyes, I highly recommend that you use the uh, unique eye cream. Um, so using that unique eye cream is going to be crucial because it has caffeine in it also. And it's extremely healing for your under eyes. And you want to use that in the morning and at night. So make sure that you grab that. And also, when you order anything this month, you're going to get a sample size of the eye cream as well. So this little sample size, is it feels like moving the product around. It feels like it's going to last you at least four days, which is nice. Um, so everyone gets a sample size in your order, no matter the minimum. Some other awesome things that are happening this month is until the 19th, which is Sunday, I believe, you get a free Twisted Mascara with any order of $100. And then if you do expedited shipping by the 20th, you will get your makeup guaranteed by Christmas. So someone earlier was like, can I get that red lipstick that you wore in time for Christmas? I'm like, absolutely, especially if you do expedited shipping, which also gets you $10 Ycash added to your account. So I, I've I washed this yesterday, so I want to make sure that I really kind of um, saturate my brush again with the product. So I love that I have the most control with this. So this not only is going to even out our coverage, but it's also going to add that like really soft buttery finish of a layer because the pressed powder has shea butter and vitamin E infused into the pressed powder. So it's super, super silky. So now for contour, we're going to do our contour in the shade medium. Oh, nice. Awesome. Yes, you're going to get a free Twisted Mascara with any order of $100. So make sure you place your orders down here. So going from the top of the ear towards the corner of the mouth, I'm taking the sculpting brush and the bronzer in medium. So I'm going to hold the longer angled side of this brush down towards the jawline to really elevate your contour, which is going to be very helpful at like giving like almost like shifting your face. I'll do only one side so you guys can kind of see what I mean. And you're just going to swish it down back and forth around the jawline and then around the forehead. And now you can really do this in a lighter form or you can do this um like really like chiseled it all is personal preference on how you like your contour but i really love this sculpting brush which both of these are limited edition and only available in the uh bundle is it bundle eight i believe or bundle six you'll see it on there but the bronzer bundle is only available while supplies last or until Sunday at midnight. Okay, so here I don't have any contour whatsoever, and then here I contoured my right side. See how this side really is like lifted and a lot thinner looking? Honestly, contouring is so important, especially during the holidays. So it really does a lot for your complexion, and it also does a lot for just the overall look of your face and your face shape when you contour. So you typically will go from the top of the ear towards the corner of the mouth and just stick in that little area. Stop two finger lengths away from your mouth, two finger lengths away from your jawline, and that's kind of where you'll position it. Make sure you get the sculpting brush and the bronzer. And if you're not sure what color you are in the bronzer, just tell me what shade of foundation you wear in our foundation, I can tell you. Or you can just message me. And um, what else am I going to say? Oh, if you haven't been color matched by me yet, if you are not sure what uh, shade foundation you are, make sure to comment color match down below and I can private message me. I can private message you or you can click the little blue and white box right there and I it'll start a message between you and I. So make sure you do both of those ASAP. Hi Jody, welcome. And then to blend, I just kind of swirl over that really softly just like that. So good. Okay, so that was the bronzer and then I'm going to go in with the blush and we're going to use it in the shade Sisterly. Sorry, my nose is so itchy. All right, so blush, and we're going to do the setting powder brush. 
Do you like the sculpting brush better than the contour? I feel like I, I don't know, they're kind of a tie in my opinion. Um, I do like that the sculpting brush has softer, more flexible uh, bristles. So that's kind of a plus. Um, I still really do like the tapered blusher brush shape. So I don't know. Honestly, I feel like I like them the same. <laughs> Aw, thank you. You're so sweet. Yay, I will message you, Debbie. So excited to color match you. The powder puff brush. Powder puff brush. I think that's this one. Yeah, no, I don't really use this one. It's honestly, it's so big. If you um, did have this one, I would only use it for pressed powder. Besides that, I think it's too big to contour with, in my opinion. Unless you have a very, uh, sounds funny, unless you have a large face. But unless you have um, larger expressions, then yes, I would use that, but... I don't really like it for contour, to be honest. Yay, Jody! I'll message you. Is it best to use setting powder before or after concealer? You're going to want to use the setting powder after concealer because you're setting your concealer. You want to put it on because you don't want to put any powder under liquid because that's when you're going to really see cakiness and chalkiness. Um, always do your liquids, anything liquid, before you do powder with the only exception of liquid eyeshadow and liquid lipstick. That's the only exceptions. Okay, so now for blush, I'm going to use the shade Sisterly with the setting powder brush. And I love to dust this on the apple of my cheek and work to the hairline. And look at how pretty that blush color is. And also look how it really does, again, elevates your overall face and expressions. So this is going to be a really, really important product to make sure that you use. Um, with any makeup look, even if you weren't really wearing a ton of makeup, because this is going to add that flushness back to your skin and really does help with the overall look. Okay, lots of questions on my, my jumper. Let me stand up really fast. So this is from Free People. Hopefully it's still in stock, but it's super, super flattering and it comes in a couple colors. So that's what I'm wearing today. I'll give you guys the link in the comments. If I'm velour, you will want the shade light in your bronzer. Oh, awesome. Where my Sphinx got so many compliments. I love that. Yes, my pleasure. Okay, so now for highlight, which is my favorite part because we got new highlights and they're stunning. So this is the, the brand new highlight in the shade Golden. So I've used all of the highlights so far and my favorites are, if I can open this, <laughs> there you go. Um, my favorites are Golden and Blushing for the highlights. For the shade Frosty, I really like it on the inner corner, unless you like a really bright highlight, which I'll show you. And then the shade Bronzed, I would only use if you have a darker complexion, because it is like a very dark highlight. Um, contour for Eyelet, you will be the shade Medium. Brush cleaner, I use a bar called Zote, which I have a tutorial on how to clean your makeup sponges and brushes on my YouTube channel, which if you check out my YouTube. It's Rhea Hope. And I also have it saved on my IGTV on Instagram, which my name there is Rhea Hope also. Concealer, I would do the shade Organza for you, Kimberly. If I missed your comment, just comment it again. All right, so we're using the highlight with the brand new angled highlight brush. I'm loving this brush. Typically, a highlight brush looks like a fan brush, which looks like... There you go. Oh, there it is. Looks like this. So the reason that I really like this brush as opposed to a normal highlight brush, look how flexible this one is. This isn't going to grab your highlight and apply it um, as well, in my humble opinion, as something that's a little bit more dense. When you have something a little bit more dense, you're going to have more control over where it's going versus a really soft, flexible fan brush. So if you are using this kind of brush for a highlight, I urge you to grab this one and test them out. Let me know what you prefer. But I personally only use the fan brush for sweeping away things because of how soft and flexible this is. So this still has really, really soft, like satin feeling uh, bristles to it. Super, super nice. And what you're going to do is you're just going to roll your brush into your highlight or tap you can scroll in the mirror if you're wanting. And then with your highlight, you want to go on the top of your uh, cheekbone. I almost said brow bone. And you're going to roll or you can tap. I don't really like swiping. I feel like when I did it, that 
when I swiped the first time, I felt like I had to go back and like uh, blend it out later. So I really like kind of pressing, rolling, swiping, like all of these little soft applications. And then what's really nice about this is look how nice it sits on the bridge of your nose. And then you just dust the point of your nose. And then I take the tip and I'll just kind of accentuate your uh, Cupid's bow. So this highlight and the brush are only available in bundle 10 and only until I believe Sunday. So don't miss out on grabbing these highlights because I'm still going to use them. <laughs> so, so good. So popping. Look at that. Oh, it's like angels sing, but so beautiful. And that was the shade golden that we used on with the uh, angled fan brush. So make sure that you grab the highlight, you guys. What's the cloth used to clean brushes in between zip cleanings? Brush. Cloth. Um, I have these, but these aren't for brushes. They're for your hair. You can get them on Amazon. They're called like makeup remover cloths, I think. Um, okay. So for eyebrows. We did our whole face. Now we're going to do brows, which the brow sculpting pencil is also in stock. Fully in stock, I might add. Yeah, the brush is crucial for sure. Definitely get it. And the brush and the highlights are all available in bundle 10. Okay, perfect, Jody. I will message you. Is there another way to clean brushes between washing them? Um, I mean, you could just like wipe them on towels. <laughs> All right, so I, actually, I take that back. There is this little thing again on Amazon. This one's called Artsy Makeup Brush Color Remover. It's like a little sponge that takes away the colors, but it is a little bit rough on your um, makeup brushes, so I would use it very gently and very sparingly. I don't know if they're coming to core, meaning that they're going to be added to the line. I really hope so because they're amazing. But um, make sure that you subscribe to my blog, which is rayahope.com. And if they do and or when they do, I will be one of the first people to announce so. And I will do it on my blog and on my Instagram story. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. My name there is Raya Hope, And then you turn on the story notifications on Instagram as well. Doing so will just let you know when I post there. And like I said, it'll be how you want to get your news. All right, so for brows, I'm just simply following the natural shape and direction of my brows and then coloring them in very gently. With this pencil, it has a gel-like texture to it, so it really helps your brow hair to lay down in place. And it has vitamin E, argine oil, and carotene all packed in this brush or this pencil. And what's awesome about it is it's going to make your brow hair grow while you're using it. So it's super helpful, especially if you have really sparse eyebrows. And then you want to take the little brush that comes with it. And then you just kind of comb through your brows like this. And now this is going to be really helpful on if you feel like you did your brows too dark or you want to kind of play around with how they're sitting. This brush is really helpful for that. Okay, so brows are done. And like I said, you can get this on sale with bundle 10 too. Zote, you can buy it from Walmart. It's like a dollar. It's in the laundry detergent aisle. Don't get the bleach one, get the pink one. Okay, so now for our eyes, eyeliner, I'm going to do the shade perfect in the precision pencil. It's my favorite eyeliner because it actually stays on. It is so good. If you have no eyebrows, you are definitely going to want the brow pencil. It's called the brow sculpting pencil because of those um, hair growth ingredients that are in it. It's going to help your brows to grow. And also what you can do too, there is a product called the Esteem Lash Serum that you can get one on sale in bundle one, I believe. It makes your lashes grow like weeds. So we're going to apply that to the backside of your lashes and the brows um, every night before bed. Very important to make sure you do that. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go in with our liquid eyeshadows. And I'm going to go in with the shade Overt. I wear the shade Brown in the pencil. 
yeah, for a dollar. You can get them on Amazon, but I think they mark it up to like $5. But I, I started buying them on Amazon because they come in a pack. Um, they're thinner. They're smaller. But, so I don't know. If you're going to Walmart, it's helpful. If you're not or if you don't live near a Walmart, um, you get them on Amazon. They're called Zote. Don't get the one with the bleach. It will ruin your brushes and it will irritate your skin. Get the one that's pink. You'll see it. There's two different ones. There's a white one that has bleach in it and then there's the one that doesn't. It's actually a Hispanic uh, laundry detergent bar. And apparently it works really good on grass stains, wine stains, <laughs> and all of that too. My jewelry, I have my sparkle bands, watch on, which I'll leave you guys my link to them. My code's Raya10. And then these are from Bud Buda Girl, which I'll give you the link to these. I don't have a discount code though. Yes. Okay, so liquid eyeshadow time. I'm going to use the shade Overt. This one is part of our core line. And I'm going to use my fluffy crease brush and grab this on there like this. So I did this trick for you guys yesterday. And a tip when you're doing the fluffy crease brush with this is uh, gentle. Gentle hands and always have like a little paper towel or something nearby so you can kind of swish the excess over because you don't when you start blending it you don't want to be like oh my gosh I have so much to blend it's better to start slow than it is because you can't take it away I mean you can but that's a lot of effort <laughs> so it's easier to start off slow with this the liquid eyeshadows are amazing to blend because they dry while you're blending them um, but you do want to move a little hasteful when you're doing this because of the that they do dry and they are smudge proof crease proof they are phenomenal especially if you have hooded eyes fine lines and wrinkles on your eyes or oily eyelids they will stay in place so going ahead and massaging this in just like that so good Oh man, that's tough, Monica. Um, honestly, I think it's just, because sometimes mine's still water. It just depends. You just want to try not to get it on your eyeball. Pulling your eyes like away kind of helps. Well, the mascara growth work just using it every day under mascara. You don't want to use it during the day, Brenda. You only want to use it at night because it has like a hardening effect to it um, when it dries. So you want to use it only at night because who cares if your lashes are hard <laughs> when you're sleeping. It's not uncomfortable by any means. You don't even, you can't even tell, but it would look weird underneath your mascara. So only use the Esteem Lash Serum at night and also apply it on your brows if you're trying to grow out your brows too. All right, so I'm going to grab a little bit more. So see how I kind of tapped it on the applicator, swished it onto the like hard piece of the applicator to really blend it onto my fluffy crease brush. And then I have my paper towel and I'm just going to like very gently like tap just like this and then apply. And I'm going back and forth. So I'm using that same amount of product on both sides. So that's really helpful too. But this color is Overt and it's a really pretty matte brown. Um, has kind of uh, orangey undertones to it, which I always love. And you can get any eyeshadow on sale in both bundles, which are the Eye Essential Bundle and then also Bundle 7. So Bundle 7 also has the liquid eyeshadows and it also has the liquid eyeshadows two colors the one I used yesterday which is admired and then promising is this color both of these are only limited edition however so make sure you get bundle seven so you get this color this one is called promising and my goodness it is so good it's kind of a matte sheen and it's a champagne color so it's so flattering on, really brightens up your eyes. It's a very soft color. So if you're not into like really loud eyeshadow shades, this color is what you want. It's very similar if you guys remember the old color Victorious in the Splurge Cream Shadow. So good. And you can use this as a base, meaning that if you have oily eyelids or fine lines and wrinkles and you find that no matter what eyeshadow you're wearing, your uh, shadows crease, you can actually use this underneath as like an eye primer. So you can use this color as that. You can use it like I am as an actual color. 
but overall so pretty on so i am applying this straight to the eye and then i'm using my cream brush and tapping to blend that down just like so fine tune that and then going in with a little bit more to darken it up just like that not pretty I love, love, love this color. And again, if you need help picking out your shades of eyeshadow, lipstick, foundation, concealer, anything and everything, just message me by clicking the blue and white box right here in the bottom left, or you can comment color match and I'll private message you. Just make sure that you check your requested and or spam folder if we've never talked before, um, cause that's where my message will go. I did the shade Overt in the liquid eyeshadow in my crease and the shade Promising on my eyelid. So both liquid eyeshadows, both so pretty and both matte. I'm going to, again, take the uh, liquid eyeshadow in the shade Overt with an angled brush and tap this on there. And then I'm going to underline the lower lash line just to give it like kind of a cohesive finish look. But this is also a really easy to do trick if you have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles on your under eye, because this will help to kind of disguise the area too. And like I said, the liquid eyeshadows don't smudge, smear or anything. So you don't have to be worried about having like raccoon eyes or anything. Just like that. Liquid eyeshadows are the best ever. They really are. Can you name the two limited edition colors? Yes, that is Admired and Promising are the two limited edition. Okay, so I did get a little liquid eyeshadow where I didn't want it. See the little dot down there? I'm going to let it fully dry and then I'm going to show you how to remove it. Um, What do I keep my makeup on? I have a vanity and then I have like this like a uh, little stand on wheels. But if you're looking for an awesome, huge makeup bag, I can give you the link to it. Just message me. I believe it will ship in time for Christmas too. And I have a discount code, which is Rhea20, I believe. Um, it's my godparents have a mercantile here in San Diego. And she has these really awesome makeup bags. Um, they have like a shoulder strap. They're awesome. They're huge. They're so good. And I think they're, they come in black and pink. But just message me and I give you the link to it. Um... Fancy has a really good one too, but theirs is out of stock until I believe the 20th. It won't ship in time for Christmas, but my godparents store will. So just message me and I can give you both links. But here's my link to Fancy if you want to check that out too. Okay, so for let's do our lips and then we'll set our makeup and do our lashes. So I'm going to do my lipstick or my lip liner in the shade Polite first. I sell my red from last night. Yes, so I always do the setting spray primer setting spray. Perfect. For everyone saying makeup bag, I'm going to give you guys the link to Fancy's and my godparents. The one from Fancy isn't going to ship. It won't. It's not guaranteed by Christmas, and it's not in stock right now, but at least you'll have the link to it. They have two sizes, and then my godparents one, I believe, will ship in time for Christmas. It's a little bit more expensive, but it is bigger, um, and it has a shoulder strap, which is the main difference. And I have a discount code for them too. So I will give you guys the link to that. So just message me. And Ash, if you want to look for the link, it's in my DMs, I think, with, um, with them. Or you can look in the archives for the story. If you can save the link from that. If not, I'll give it to them. Okay. So lip liner on. I love this color so much. And then with our lipsticks, I'm going to go in first with, 
Yes, I'm gonna go first. I've never done this lipstick combination, but I'm really excited about it actually. I'm gonna go in first with the shade Minted, which is this really pastel nude, as you can see, <laughs> and pop this on on top. I'm not gonna like get crazy with blending, but I'm gonna use my finger to blend it. Okay. Well, and that's really pretty by itself. So that was minted. And now I'm going to top it with my lipstick in the shade Well To Do, which is my personal favorite. I didn't plan on it, but I can go live with my hair if you guys want. I'm going to curl it with a Le Duo today. So pretty, right? I love this. And then now I'm going to top it with the limited edition lip gloss in the shade Legit. So this shade and the lipsticks are all part of a bundle as well. You get two lipsticks, two lip glosses, and a lip liner. Like, talk about a perfect lip kit. These are all on sale again with the limited edition lip glosses, which there's three. There's the shade Legit. There's the shade Looker that we did yesterday. And then we also have the limited edition Lottery, which is more of a mauve color. So all of these are on sale um, only until tomorrow. So definitely get your lip kits. It's the perfect way to stock up on all your favorite colors of lip gloss, lipstick, and it's all the lipstick options. Oh, awesome. Okay, so now for legit, we're going to take this color, which is a super pretty iridescent. Look at that. Isn't that so stunning? Oh, so good. It literally makes your lips look so pouty. Uh, that is bundle six, I want to say. Okay, so now... I'm going to go ahead and set my makeup with the Prime to Set Mist. Which is a continual spray. It has cucumber extract in it, so it's extremely refreshing and hydrating. It also has a blurring technology in the ingredients that also help it to keep your makeup in place and also blur fine lines and wrinkles. So if you are, if you haven't grabbed this yet, highly encourage you to do so. It's part of bundle, whatever the bronzer bundle is, this also uh, is included. Um, I think uh, Sociable would be my favorite mini palette out of those two, but those are limited edition also. So definitely make sure you guys are grabbing your bundles. I'm gonna let this dry. And this is also only part of the bundle and will be gone, same thing as the other ones. So don't miss out. All right, now for lashes, we're gonna do the lash primer. And this is amazing at making your lashes look so long and hydrated. So popping that on. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in now with the Twisted Mascara. So this is the mascara that you get for free with any order of $100. And we're going to apply this all over the base of the lash and then on the back side. And this mascara also has argan oil, keratin, and biotin infused in it. It is so, so good. And then the back side. And you could do as many coats of this as you want. I know, it really is the best. I am wearing a medium in the jumpsuit. And it's super slimming on, it's my favorite. Okay, 
and then pop that on the bottom lash line too. Now this mascara is also transfer and running proof. So you don't have to be worried about it getting all over, giving you raccoon eyes. It is so, so good. And also, like I said, you get it for free when you, use the, uh, when you spend $100 on my website down here. All right, now I'm going to top it with my 4D mascara. This is the one that has the fibers infused in it. This is also part of one of the bundles as well. And this makes your lashes look so voluminous. So good. All right, so there we go. There's our makeup of the day. Hope you guys enjoyed the little tutorial. Um, for the highlighter name, I use the shade Golden today. And then I also have used the shade Blushing Live as well. And then, I almost forgot, I love to do uh, this little step with the shade Frosty. So I'm going to grab Frosty on my crease brush and pop this on the inner corner. And this is always so pretty. It really makes your eyes pop. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? So that's frosty in the highlight. So the highlights, the bronzers, the prime to set mist, the limited edition eyeshadows, liquid eyeshadows, lip glosses, all of that are only available till Sunday. So definitely don't miss out on that. Um, especially the prime to set mist. Look how glowy it makes your skin so pretty so stock up and save down here pinned in this link right there um and let me know if i could be of any help to you guys so let me know and happy saturday guys see you soon bye